Hello year ones and welcome to your literacy lesson and happy Friday. We are going to start off our literacy lesson as we have been doing all week. Yeah, you guessed it, spelling our common exception words. So we have got some new words for you to, to spell today. So I'm going to go through them and I'm going to do my turn, your turn. So my turn, you, your, there, where, mermaid. Well done, year ones. Okay, so we're going to practice our spellings using the pyramid um, strategy that we've been looking at all week. So remembering that you start off with one letter and you build it up until you get um, the word at the end. Okay, so I'm going to cover those back up. If you could pause the video now and practice these spellings. Okay, well done year ones. We are now going to get back into story mode. Okay, put our story caps on our heads. Okay, um, and we are going to uh, retell our innovative story, The Strong Mermaid. Okay, so it's the last time we'll be doing it. So I want lots of energy um, and lots of enthusiasm. Okay, let's start at the top. Noi lived with his dad and six cats by the sea. Every day, Noi's dad left early to work on his fishing boat. He wouldn't be home again till night time. One night, a great storm raged around the house. In the morning, Noi went down to the beach to see what had been left behind. In the distance, he spoke spotted a beautiful mermaid washed up on the sand. He knew that it wasn't good for a mermaid to be out of the water, so he acted quickly. Noi took her to the house and put her in the bathtub. He tried to make the mermaid feel at home by brushing her hair and singing her songs. Noi was worried that his dad would be angry, so he tried to keep it a secret, but he knew it couldn't last. Noi's dad wasn't angry. He had been so busy, he hadn't noticed that Noi had been lonely. Noi and his dad took the mermaid back to the sea where she belonged. Noi was sad to say goodbye. He hoped that one day he would see his friend again. Brilliant, well done year ones. Hopefully you enjoyed retelling the story as much as I did. Okay, so we are going to be looking at our story mountain again for the last time because we have made it to the end. We, we started on Monday with our beginning, Tuesday we wrote our um, build up, Wednesday um, we wrote our problem, yesterday we wrote our resolution and today we are going to be writing our ending, okay? I would just like to say you have worked so hard this week with your story writing and I'm so impressed with how um, how amazing they all are. It's been lovely reading them on um, Glass Dojo and seeing how hard you've worked to include everything um, in the success criteria. So well done, year ones. So the ending, we know the ending. Um, we see Noi and his dad take the mermaid back to the sea and we, um, we can see that Noi and dad spend more time together and that he hopes to see the mermaid again. So I'm going to have a go at writing the ending now. So I've got my success criteria. I've got my pictures to help me and I've got my um, word maps as well to help me. So my first sentence is going to be about Noi and his dad taking the mermaid back to the sea. Okay, so Noi and his dad took the mermaid back to the sea. Now in the story, um, we, we have the, the phrase where she belonged, okay? So where she belonged means so that's where she should be, okay? And I want to add that part to my sentence as well. So Noi and his dad took the mermaid back to the sea where she belonged. 
So I'm going to start with noi. I need to start with a capital letter because it's the first letter of my sentence and it is a proper noun. So we use capital letters there. So noi, n, oi, took, t, u, k, took, noi, took, the mermaid. to the, okay, one of our tricky words, but we do know how to spell it because we use it all the time. Noi took the mermaid back to the sea where she belonged. Now, belonged, I think that's a tricky one, so I'm going to copy it from my mat here, where she belonged. Noi took the mermaid back to the sea where she belonged. Now, we know that Noi felt very sad to say goodbye to his new friend, okay? So I'm going to write a sentence about that. So he was sad to say goodbye to his new friend. So I'm gonna start with he. He was sad to say goodbye to is his new new friend again friend is a trickier one so i'm going to copy it from my word map he was sad to say goodbye to his new friend okay i'm going to check my success criteria can you check it actually have i included what i needed to include i haven't have i i've forgotten my capital letter and my full stop i have included my finger space though which is good brilliant he was sad to say goodbye to his new friend. Now we know that Noi hoped that he would see the mermaid again. So I'm going to, um, my last sentence of my story is going to be, Noi hoped he would see the mermaid again soon. Okay, so again, starting with Noi, so capital N, Oi, N, Oi, Noi, H hoped, H O, hoped okay hoped i know it's my split digraph there hope hope noi hoped he would tricky word again so i'm going to copy that noi hoped he would see s e e now i know there's a couple of ways to spell an e i think it's two e's together that's right noi hoped he would see the mermaid copy mermaid. No, I hoped he would see the mermaid again soon, soon, soon. Full stop. Okay. Let me read through my three sentences. Noi took the mermaid back to the sea where she belonged. He was sad to say goodbye to his new friend. Noi hoped he would see the mermaid again soon. Okay, it all makes sense. And I've used capital letters, I've used full stops, and I've used finger spaces. I have included everything that I needed from my success criteria. So now it's over to you, year ones. It is time to write the ending of your story, The Storm Mermaid. So please use everything that's on this screen to help you. Use the pictures as a prompt, use your success criteria, and the word maps to make sure your writing is as amazing as it can be, okay? So again, remember, take a photo, a clear photo of your work, upload it onto Class Dojo so that we can read the ending of your amazing stories. Good luck, everyone, and enjoy writing.